In this video, we are going to become the strongest swordsman inside of King's Legacy. And let me just tell you, this video took forever to actually do, and I actually managed to get really, really lucky. You're gonna be so surprised. Some of the items I get are insane. So if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started because we've done a lot this video. Yes, finally. Perfect way to start off the video is more damage from my fruit. Perfect. Now I'm doing 15% more damage than I was before. No boost to health, but oh my goodness, that does not line up at all. Okay, so in order for us to become the strongest swordsman, we're already pretty strong with fruit, even though I'm only using rumble. It's actually perfect combo, so I don't really want to change it yet. At least for nothing I have, because I know you can't use swords with dragon fruit when you're transformed, but you kind of want to be transformed when using it, so... But at some point, I do eventually want to try to get an awakened fruit, and the only awakened fruit I can actually get right now is the dark fruit, but I have to get a dark beard drop first, which is a 1% chance, so I don't really want to do that yet either, so we're going to try to become the strongest swords when we can by getting as many swords as we can while also trying to get V2 of the ATK. And I, let's start with that, I guess. Let's head over to Dead Tundra. But I can't leave the server for another hour because the next spawn is a Hydra, and I still need to get a Hydra Tail, which is very rare. Well, let's talk to this guy, and he'll give me a quick quest to beat up Fluffy, which I've been doing, so I know how to do it. There he goes. Now it gave us a Diverse Sphere. I can then go ahead and talk to you again. And now he wants me to head over back to the island I was at. Head to the arena light this then i have to head over to loaf island and talk to this guy and the reason why i want to do this now even though i have like none of the drops is just to first of all get it done but also because this quest requires you to kill kaido or dragon as they call him and if i dragon you have to fight this boss and get like the one percent drop summon item i just want to do both at the same time because it'll make my life a little easier all right, that's another one of those guys dead. There's a second sword I also want to level up. And that is this one right here. I'm not sure which one's better. I think this one's worse because this one's actually easier to do. Despite taking like 10 hours to do this one, it's still easier because all you got to do is kill Sea Kings. So he tells me about progress. And according to him, I need to kill... I'm guessing... I think that means I need to kill six more. I'll see you when the next one spawns. I think the next one's a Hydra though, so I don't think it will count. Because getting any kind of Awakened Sword would be awesome. Because I have two of the three. The third one is the Robux one. And that one... Yeah, that one's not happening. I need I need, I would need to get a drop with 0.33% chance. That I, can only, I can only do once every four hours. So yeah, that is rare and not happening. And there we go, a Dragon Orb. This guy is going to be fun. In fact, I'm going to wait to spawn it in until the Hydra spawns. Because it should be spawning in any minute now. And this thing, it'll take me a while to kill. I don't want to miss out on the Hydra. Or have to do that again. All right. Hydra's here. Ooh. That's a high tier chest. Hey, we got the high water Hydra mask. And I got the Phoenix fruit. Cool. I think that was a tier three. That was a 24% chance. And I got a 10% drop on the water Hydra. Reduces Hydra damage and regen. So that's good if I'm fighting the Hydra. But like 30%, that's not going to really save me much, I don't think. The most common drop from a Hydra. Okay, that did not count. By the way, I'm not going to use the Phoenix Fruit or any of the other legendaries. My main reasoning B is that like all of the Awakens seem to be better. So I'm going to try to get an Awakened Fruit. And also these have actual decent trade value. So if I need to, I can trade for fruits like Flame Fruits, which are really high valued right now. Because they just added the Awakened for it. But let's do it. Let's summon the dragon. 1.5 million health. Which I got to do basically by myself because I don't think anyone else is going to come over here. Man, this thing hits hard. And there we go. We got it. No other drops except for the one for the quest. Okay. So now I need to head back over to Loaf Island and talk to you again, where he wants me to go up here, where I need to light this. And once I do that, I have to head up to this island, where I have to walk into this wall and accept a quest from you to go over to this island where I have to go ahead and kill enemies until I get a looseness totem. Is there anything I need from Hefty? Let me see. Okay, he drops his glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. Oh, there we go. First try, we got the totem. With the totem and go ahead and spawn this guy who really isn't that difficult. And once I do that, I head back over to this area, walk into this wall and talk to you again, where he wants me to go to this island and light this. 
And once I do that, I need to talk to this guy. He wants me to go find a guy called Walter. Not, not that Walter. The one inside this house. So now that I'm at this point, all I need is the Hydra Tail, which is not going to be easy. And then three Sea King Fins, which I think I only have one of right now. And oh, there's a Sea Beast. Okay, let's go for it. Oh my gosh, is that a Hydra? Oh my gosh, there's a Hydra in this server. There's like no one in it. The only person, people in it is like this AFK guy and there's a hacker teleporting everywhere. And there we go. Defeated. Um, nothing good. Dang it. Oh my gosh. I joined another server trying to just get a better server to grind it. And I joined a server and there's another Hydra. This is the third Hydra in a row. I'm doing this entirely backwards. And there we go. Oh, an another good chest. <gasps> Woo! I got two things. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, yes. Where's it at? Where's it at? Yes. This right here. One of the best hats in the game. Was the drop chance for the chest. Still no, still no Hydra thing. But this right here was a 5% chance. And then the they cleaver was also a 5%. Where's that at? Yeah, here it is. Another new weapon for the collection. Oh, cool. Gravity fruit. Let's go. Another new weapon. Oh, that's nice. But yes, so this is 20% damage and 10% speed. This is 10 health and 15%. So this is a little bit less damage, but I get health alongside it. There we go. That is one of the best hats in the game. Okay, time to fight Big Mom. And honestly, I don't know what sword to use because all these swords are rare. This one is technically more rare than the ATK. So I, re I really don't know what to use. I'll keep using this one because I know it's good. Hey, oh, we get the Phoenix Blade. Another sword. Let's go. That was a 1% chance? What the heck? That is amazing. I just picked up three really rare items in the span of like no time at all. I've been checking the upgrades to make stuff more powerful. And yeah, definitely not upgrading any of these. These are all so expensive. Hey, another sword drop. I got, just got Soul Cane. There we go. I think that's Brook's sword. Yeah, right now I'm just fighting Sally while I wait. So that way I can try to get Totems to fight Darkbeard. Getting old items here. Uh, not that good. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and work on farming to fight the Ice King. Because the Ice King actually has a higher percent chance drop for the item needed to awaken a fruit. And all I need to do is get those ice crystals to fight them too. And oh my gosh, I got it. That's what I wanted. But I needed that item if I wanted to start ice awakening. I don't have an ice fruit. So if I can manage to get one, I'm going to try to awaken that. Because right now, awakened fruits, from what I can tell, are superior to legendary fruits in all cases. Except for maybe dragon. Which yet again, I don't really want to use because I like comboing with swords. And dragon doesn't let you do that when you're transformed into the dragon. So... You can't be the strongest swordsman if you can't use swords. I'm guessing I can go do the equivalent over in the fire area. I didn't record the last one, but I just joined a server after killing a sea beast. And it has a sea beast to fight. Perfect. I don't think I did enough for battle pass though, sadly. But joined way at the end. Nope, I just got another dough? Are you kidding me? Okay, looks like I'm paying for more storage. That is, yeah, this guy's right. Dough out of tier one is crazy. Okay, it says 7 out of 10 now. That went up because of the one kill I did earlier. So I need three more kills. So three more hours until I can get an upgrade. And there we go. Finally got it. If I get either the magma or the ice fruit, I'm set. And oh, magma's in the shop. So is flame, but I can't awaken it right now. It would take way too long. I'm going to wait till I actually have flame fruit before I actually try to awaken it because I don't even have one yet. But magma's here and ice isn't. So I'm guessing let's do magma. Oh my gosh, it has a fly, but it's so slow. <laughs> And apparently a Hydra just spot. I'll go fight it in a second. And oh, you need to get six fruit for any of them? Oh my gosh, I thought it was just the flame fruit. Because why is the Trello so outdated? The Trello lists every other requirement except for that. Now well, that was a waste. Well, in that case, I'm just going to buy flame. <laughs> Guessing I'll do the flame flame fruit because I think this one's just overall better. That was a waste of money. What's, the, what's this fly? Okay, that flies way faster. Let's head over. That is your, I thought you only needed six for the flame fruit. Well, I'm just going to trade for flame fruits and get the awakened flame because it's supposed to be the best. I'm irritated. Do, do, do. Also, why is another Hydra? I need Sea Kings. I mean, I'll take Hydras because I also need Hydras, but I mainly need Sea Kings. because I just want to awaken one of my swords. I also have no idea what this fruit actually does, so I don't know how to fight with it yet. Okay, so that is a set. Okay, that's pretty, I'm used to that. That's also really nice. Okay, what about Inferno Pillar? 
Okay, that just summons on me, so not that one. Flame Fist. Okay, this one's pretty close range, but the cooldowns are really fast. And there it goes, defeated. Let's see. Oh, it's your three chest. And nothing. I got a Buddha Fruit. Yes, another Sea King. Doing a bunch of damage, too. I'm liking the Flame Fruit. I would like to awaken it, but the, all the Flame Fruit are so overpriced. It's actually kind of sad. And they're wanting like all these super high tier things that I don't even know how to get. Look at that, 470,000 damage. This fruit, I'm, I'm so much better with this than, than the rumble. Nothing good though. And also a ghost ship. Ooh, a lot of chests. Nothing good though. Hey, just got a hefty glasses. There we go. Produces melee damage. Okay, another sea king. One more sea king to go. Okay, our 10th sea king. Okay, there we go. So now that I've killed enough of these, I can go ahead and actually buy the first upgrade for 50 gems. So that is one of the two skills. And now I also have my rage bar too. So now I have this. Or is it this? This one, I got my X first. And the more mailing I do, the more rage bar I have. And my sword is now on fire. Oh, that is awesome. It also fits because I'm using the flame flame fruit right now. But if I go ahead and fight enemies, as you can see, my bar goes up. And when it gets up to max, I start getting flame swings on my sword. Ooh, a fruit, let's go get it. And it's also a ghost ship this direction too. Hopefully it's not dead. Oh, there it is. The, the ghost ship. Next fruit is this. It's a barrier fruit. Aw. Okay, let's beat up this ship. Oh, that's fun. I like that. But I take a lot of damage when I do that because I get right next to the ship. Okay, it's dead. And nothing good. So now if I want to get the second attack on this thing, I need to kill another 10 sea beasts. And I still need so much for the ATK. I might have to do some trading. Oh my gosh, I just got Authentic Mace too. That is a rare drop. That is a really, really rare drop because you have to kill Dragon for it. And these, and these guys are grinding it. I just did the first one. And I think they have like another five at least. But let's go. I don't even know if these weapons are good. Like I, I truly don't. I just know they're rare. And luckily it's, it's easier to grind when you have a group. So having these guys makes this really easy. Even if you suck at the game like I do. Yeah, that's a 10% drop chance from Dragon, and Dragon's a 1% chance to fight. Really cool. So with this one, I have this attack, which is nice, and then this. That is amazing! You get the luck of a dragon, and I got a dra I got a scale. It means I can get a rainbow color full form dragon. I guess that means if I have the dragon fruits? Yeah, it increases my chance to get the rainbow color of the dragon fruit. Okay. Okay, time for another Hydra. And there we go. Not only a tier two chest this time. Dang it. Okay, a Sea King. Now this is another three. Dang it. Now I kind of feel like I have to wait again for another Hydra. So that is one out of 10. Hey, there we go. Another drop, the Metal Trident. That's one of the swords I was missing. Really cool. 1% chance. I think that's all the drops this boss has. Okay, another Hydra. Tier two chest. Hey, I got aquatic anchor and also a fruit. So there we go, another, another sword. What the heck? Okay, that was a tier two. What was the chances of that? Holy geez, that's a 1% drop. That is insane. Yet I still can't get a hydra tail, which is the only really thing I want because I can try, I can actually trade for more fins. But there you go, another weapon with two pretty cool attacks. I still don't know if these are worth using or not. Because if you ask what like the best swords are, everyone always says like ATK or one of the new ones. Okay, another Sea King. Only a few more to go and oh, a tier three. Anything good? I got Sea King blood. I'm guessing that's fine. No Acura Scythe yet. Another thing I just finished. I've been farming Samurai badges. It's taken quite a while. So that way I can buy this upgrade on my Muramasa. However you say it. So 10% more damage. There we go. And it says that's the max. That's good. So now I'm even stronger. This is the main sword I'm using right now because it's the easiest to use and that Calamity Slash is very helpful. Plus, to be fair, if I want to upgrade like any of these weapons, look what I need. I need Sea King Fins and I need a Hydra Tail. Why? For 10% more damage? That is not worth it on that weapon. Even this weapon is relatively unreasonable. Two Sea King Fins? I can't even get a second one. And I need two more already to get V2. So yeah, that's just, that's a lot. But yeah, now if I go ahead and use this sword... It does about 30, 30, almost 31,000 damage. If I can manage to hit somebody with that and then a few of my fruit powers, they, they will instantly die. I got the Seeking Blood and a Tier 2. More Seeking Blood. Dang it. 
He defends. Yes! Let's go! I just got Dragon Standard. Oh, yes! Okay, now this is a good weapon. Oh, yes! I got Dragon Standard! Let's go, dude! So I got Flag Strike, which does... Which I think lets me heal off of teammates, and then we have Rallying Valor. And this does damage on every single one of those ticks. This right here is an actual really good weapon. Like, this is it. This is one of the new ones, too, because they added three this update. Let's go! I'm so proud of myself. I managed to get it. So if I'm near anyone I'm allied, I think this lets me heal or heal other people based off of how much damage they take. I honestly, I'm not entirely sure all I know is this heals. But yes, a weapon! Finally! I, I've opened so many of these things, by the way. I don't show any of them, but I've been opening so many. Every single one I come across. This video has taken quite a while, if you, if you couldn't tell. Go, dude. I'm so proud of myself. I got it. Let's see. If I go ahead and activate Rallying Valor. Look at that. Look how much damage this dealing. And when you're using hockey, it's fully black. I don't have the upgrade to hockey because it's very expensive and I'd rather spend money on other things right now. So I'll go for hockeys later. Hey, we got his cloak. We got Darkbeard's cloak. One of the two drops he can drop. I've been trying to get the hat so that way I can just try to go for like a dark fruit instead. Because that's probably the easiest awakened fruit to go for other than maybe the gravity okay just killed another sea king tier two chest sea king blood still i need fins come on let's go i just got the dark beard hat oh yes that's a legendary too and that is purely just defense plus 10 health and reduced fruit damage let's go my second legendary hat there's like four more i can get in the game but there we go got the hat finally so now i can actually go ahead and if i want to i can do the dark fruit i'm just grinding other things while i wait for the sea kings to spawn that's literally all i'm doing hey just got the flame hair awesome now i have both drops from this boss it's funny i get the flame hair second i got the super rare everyone wants sword first this game is flawless another accessory though to add to my collection oh it's a hydra Ooh, a big chest. I think this is a tier three. Sea King blood. Thanks, game. Okay, another Sea King. And just blood. Dang it. Okay, another Sea King. I'm actually very proud of myself, too. I dealt, like, I think somewhere around a million damage to it on my own. Fairly fast, too. I'm getting really good with the flame fruit. Dang it, nothing good. And we need to do two more. We're insanely close to maxing out the sword. Okay, another one. Nothing again. All right, another Hydra. Let's hope this time it actually wants to give me a darn tail. I can't even trade for one because there's so many new items and people are just trading tails for those. Okay, it's dead. A tier two chest. Man, nothing good again. You've got to be kidding me. My luck with the Hydra is atrocious. Okay, another Sea King. This is the very, very last one that I need to do. And I'd like to note that I've literally got to none of the drops I need this entire video. Like, none of them. I got rid of the Flame Fruit because I wasn't really enjoying using it. And every single time I got into a fight with a player, I would lose miserably because the default Flame Fruit sucks for PvP, or I just don't know how to use it. And I get about the same amount of damage with this fruit anyway. But to be fair, most of the damage is the sword. Oh my lord. Just look at this. I'm gonna do all these attacks on the boss. And I did roughly like 50,000 there. If I go ahead and just use the Z move, I do like 120,000. Like 150 with both moves. So yeah, this is very powerful. Look at that. That is insane. I think I'm officially done upgrading this sword. So there we go. Now I have Undying Flame and Calamity Slash. So I think I'm done, right? So now whenever I use this, that's much better. I wonder how much damage that does. And then I have this. Let's see if I do this on a normal enemy. Not too much. It definitely does more damage to the Sea Beast because of bigger hitbox. But if they're like right next to me and activate it, about the same. Honestly, though, this is still dealing a lot of damage, specifically to big hitbox enemies. I'll have to try it on a Sea King, I guess. Hey, I just found a rumble fruit. I also just got back from AFKing where I AFK mobs overnight. And look at this. I have 14,000 carrots and 2.5 thousand iron ingots, which I'm not going to use for my mink V2 because I don't really need it right now. But I do need hydra tails. 
and I noticed occasionally people ask for carrots for their hider tails. So I have a bunch of carrots now. So as soon as I see someone wanting to trade it, I'm immediately grabbing it. Same with sea king fins. But hey, two rumble fruits. These are actually quite valuable right now because they're actually really good despite having a pretty decent movement. But rumble is like one of the best fruits right now that isn't an awakened. And there we go. I just soloed a sea king. Only took a few lives. I'm quite proud of myself actually. And dang it, nothing good. Yeah, I was AFK long enough for one to spawn. <laughs> Hey, an ice fruit. Awesome. That's actually really valuable because it's one of the awakened fruits and they're all being way overpriced right now. Okay, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I did find a trade. 400 iron ingots for a dragon orb. Dragon orbs are decently valued. I don't see many people trading for iron ingots and I have 2000 more, so not bad. I have three of these now. And here we go. This is what I needed. And actually, wait one second. Let's go ahead and fight the Sea King real quick. Oh, it looks like they killed it. Well, I should be able to open it still. Um, okay, well, I still got rewarded for doing nothing. It's not exactly a good trade, but I still need them anyway. So 6,000 carrots for this. And that also saved me time because that guy was going to give me Hydra Tail, which he didn't have apparently. But that still works. So now I have the Sea King fins I need. Now I just need a Hydra Tail. And here it is. This guy, I just DM this guy earlier, 6,000 for a Hydra tail. I love how this entire video has ended in me just trading for the items, despite me have literally spent the past few days grinding these. I haven't even showed all the Hydra and Seeking kills because some of them just irritated me because I wasn't getting the drops, but there we go, we got them. I'm also now left with like 2,000 carrots for my own evolution on what I need, but thank you to these guys for trading me. I appreciate it. I just saw people trading carrots for the past few days and I was like, you know what? I'm going to AFK carrots and it was, I was worth it. I still also have a ton of iron I could trade too. Dude, I'm, I just realized I'm a bunny and I went into the carrot business. Oh God. This is literally just the bad ending of Zootopia. Oh no. But now I need to head, now, now that I have that, now I need to head all the way over to this island. Let's go ahead and equip the ATK. Walk into this building and then we should... Yeah, and we have 30 million and I have one Hydra Tail and I have more than three Sea King Fins, but I just traded for both of those drops anyway. Well, let's just go ahead and trade for that. And now I should have two new attacks. They have various thrashes, which isn't too bad. I have to hold that. Yeah, I do have to hold that. I can do that three times in a row. Okay, and there's no cooldown. That's actually really nice. And I have Twisted Dominance. Okay, that is really, really cool. I like that. Oh my goodness. I wonder how much damage it does. I mean, just doing it on one enemy. Let's just see. So if I do Z, Z, and then Z again, I did like 11.8 thousand. If I go ahead and do Twisted Dominance, 14 thousand. You know, that really isn't too bad. Because I can also do that three times, which is really good. And just comparing it to this item, like the Undying Flame does only like a thousand. Of course, it's better against group enemies. And then if I go ahead and do Calamity Slash after doing this attack, there's about 17,000. So that still hits really hard. But I think this one's just overall better just because you're able to do this attack three times. And I think it, I think it targets the enemy. And I, that, my Z did 16,000 there. If I go ahead and do this one, that did 14,000. So yeah, overall, this one's better. Yeah, look at that. I drag the enemy to me, I think. Yeah, the ATK is really powerful. And just to test all bar top, I'll go ahead and just activate it. Yeah, I drag them to me. That's good. I like that. Yeah, I definitely want to get into the carrot business. Carrots are profitable. Oh, not to mention we also got the dragon standard this video, which is apparently one of the best swords in the entire game, especially for raids, which I haven't even really touched yet. Okay, we're doing one more trade. To end the video, we're doing 2,000 more carrots with all my remaining carrots for one more Sea King fin. There we go. The one complete night of AFK is all gone. And now I can go ahead and upgrade the weapon to have 10% more damage. There we go. So if I go check, I now deal a total of 17,000, which I don't think was right. I don't think I hit one of those attacks correctly. Now I deal a total of... 13,000 with the Z if I go ahead and use the X up to 28,000. So much more damage now. That's half of a total health of a player. And it's also without any boosts to sword damage. That is awesome. Who want a Samurai badge? Good way to end.